Okay, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to test gold with lemon juice. Now, all you're going to need for this is going to be some lemon juice or some lemon juice just, you know, that already comes done. This is what I'll be using. I'll be showing you the results. You would need your piece of jewelry. In this case, I have a real gold ring and a fake one, as well as a container to put your juice. So I'll be dropping some of this lemon juice in there. And lastly, you will just need something to make a scratch or a mark, just enough so you can get on, you can get uh, beneath the surface layer to see what's really inside of it. Okay, now as far as for the marking, I suggest you do it somewhere that won't be too noticeable. Um, in case you still want to wear the jewelry, of course, if you, if all you care about is knowing if it's real, you don't care about how it looks or any sort of thing like that, you could do it on the outside, but it's going to be noticeable. Now, if you do it in the inside of the ring, only you're going to know it's there. Okay, so to start off, let us pour some of the real lemon into the container here. Now I'm just going to pour enough so I can submerge both rings. Okay, it might actually be the entire thing. Well, I bought two just in case wasn't wasn't enough. And because that was the the deal going on, I have to save myself 50 cents. Almost there. Yeah, I might as well throw it all in there. Okay, all done. My lemon has been squeezed. Now let's start doing a marking on this one. In this case, I have this round file I'll be using to do the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see too well right there, but it says 18 karat on this one. I'm going to intentionally make it bigger here than you have to. You really just need to get beneath the surface. Or in this case, you know what, I'm going to do it right on the outside so you guys can notice it. So we can see better how the test works. Check while you're doing it to see what you can see right here. I can see that there's a color change between where I filed and where it's still smooth from the finish. Okay, so we're going to dip that one in there. And now we're going to do it to the band here. We'll also do it on an edge. And we're going to dip that one in there. And let's just start that. Okay, I'm back. So it's been more than 10 minutes. Just got busy um, with some other stuff. So now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the gold rings and put them in some water. Let me just grab some water here to pour on the other side just so we can compare them. And we can remove the watch. Okay, now the purpose of using the two rings is to show the color difference. Um, that the lemon juice is supposed to, you know, produce. Um, now, genuine gold isn't supposed to change. It's supposed to stay the same. Um, keep, it's supposed to retain its yellow color. While fake gold, there's supposed to be a change, right? It all depends on what it's made out of. So let's take a look here. Let's see if anything looks different in there. So nothing here doesn't seem to be. And let's see if we can find the other one. It's like it got swallowed. Oh, there it is. And here is the genuine gold one, as you can see. Neither of them has changed. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave them in there for a little bit longer. I just need to go get some work done. And I will be back after to see how they turn out. 
Okay, so I'll try to keep a rough estimate of the time to let you guys know how much additional time I left it in there to get some, to see if we get any results really. Okay. Okay, so it's been about an hour. So let's just take a look, see if anything's changed here. So I don't know if you guys can see right there, but it has turned whiter. I don't know how much the camera catches it. Now the longer you leave it, the more effective this will be. I could have also done a, a better job of really getting in there. There you go, so you can see. And we have the real gold one right here. See it right there. No color change at all. This one's definitely had a higher color change, but even still, could probably still leave it longer. I'm just gonna put it in some water here. Now, this test kind of sucks. Not gonna lie to you. But if you want something much more effective. Now, as you can see, it's not a very effective test. So let me show you guys what is way more effective than that. So we're simply gonna grab a, our stone here. We're gonna place both items and let's look for the mark. So we have the mark up here on this one that we did and over here for this one. And all we're simply gonna do is we are going to pour some 14 carat testing acid on our piece. Let me just move them here so you guys can see better. And all we're going to do is pour a little drop all over top of it instantly. Now look at that. One second and it's already effective. You guys can see the green on it. You gotta be careful with your hands that it doesn't get on it, or your fingers will start turning yellow or black. As, let me see if I have any. You see right there, that's an old one from a couple weeks ago. But anyway, in conclusion, the test could work if you have enough time, if you have the time and the patience. But if you wanna avoid all of that, simply get something like this. That will get the job done a lot easier and you guys can see it'll do it right away for all of it really